corazón del fútbol. Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to the big final game of the tournament Chile against Argentina, the final match of the Copa America and let's see which team will be crowned as champions of South America. Chile, are they gonna celebrate in front of their own fans or will Argentina, will, or will Argentina steal the moment from them? We're about to find out in 90 minutes. So those were the national anthems of both countries, Argentina and Chile, of course. But now let's have a look at both lineups for Chile, a 5-3-2 formation with Edu Vargas and Alexis up top, Diaz Aranguiz and Arturo Vidal in the middle. And of course Claudio Bravo on goal for Argentina. It is going to be a 4-4-2 formation with Leo Messi and Gonzalo Higuain up top, Lovetsi and Enzo Perez. Both goal scorers in that uh, semi-final will be playing on the wins and Sergio Romero will be between the sticks. Anyway guys, everything seems to be ready and there is the referee's whistle to get that final match underway. Chile against Argentina, which team will be crowned as champions of South America? We're about to find out in 90 minutes. If you haven't watched any of the games from the competition so far, you can do so. You can watch them um, live on our channel. Link of the playlist. You can find the link of the playlist in the description below that video. Below every video there is a link um, for that playlist. And uh, there you can find all of the games from this competition. Now, straight into the game. Vidal is in possession for Chile. Alexis Sanchez towards Mauricio Isla on the right hand side. Lovetz with a good interception. He is uh, back on defense. Messi, Higuain, Enzo Perez is on the right hand side. Higuain decides to go uh, with uh, Messi, but he tries the shot. It was a poor attempt by the little Argentine and Claudio Bravo, his teammate from Barcelona has no problems collecting the ball offside there by Messi let's have a look at the replay that's about it it is a clear offside and Bravo will get the ball back in play from that undirect free kick Aranguiz Diaz Vargas wants Mena and so Perez is quicker than him both wingers from Argentina are forced to play in defense because the overlapping runs by both fullbacks from Chile are causing problems Marcos Roca and Pablo Zabaleta are the fullbacks for Argentina some assistance for that uh, runs by Mena. This 
va Bormix en Chile Karim Aleo Luis Silvestra and Luis now in the middle starts again with Gonzalo Jaro they lost it in a dangerous area now chance for the counter attack Messi finding Higuain it is Claudio Bravo but Lovetsi still keeps it alive in the box Lovetsi Messi straight at Claudio Bravo the first huge chance for Argentina to open the scoring but both Higuain and Messi failed to beat the keeper and there is one of those runs Mena on the left hand side tried to find Vargas but the, the pass was intercepted Messi a bit of technique there but the pass was unsuccessful but still Messi starts again with Demi Chilis Kelgaray or Spilia. Cross Rojo. Higuain. Messi. This the defender. Messi still going. Messi through pass towards Enzo Perez. But Mena is quicker. Gets first to the ball. Vargas. Vargas has some support on the right hand side. Vargas. He goes alone. There is the pass for Alexis Sanchez. I, I think that pass was a bit too late. Sanchez in the box, low cross, still Sanchez, oh what a save, what a save by Sergio Romero, I didn't expect it, that Sanchez is gonna have a go, but a great save by Romero, it is a goalless game still, Diaz will get the corner into the box, it's not into the box, it's outside the box, he's not dispossessed and now the chance for the counter attack, Anyway, there are three players in defense for Chile. I'm expecting that uh, counter attack from Argentina right after the corners. But now Lavezzi. Lavezzi! Oh, what a shot! Lavezzi opens the scoring! Fantastic shot by Ezekiel Lavezzi. And once again, it's another game for him and another goal. But what a strike by Ezekiel Lavezzi. Let's have a look at this once again. We seize the pass from the wing in the shot. Powerful shot, so much power on that shot. Enzo Perez will get the assist. But surely those two players are key for Argentina in that competition. So 1 0 the score just before half time, and Argentina are in the lead. No stoppage time in that first half. Arturo Vidal goes forward on the right hand side. Cutting inside now, Isla cuts inside as well, low cross, Sanchez and Sergio Romero. There is the halftime whistle by the referee, 1-0 for Argentina, it, look, it looks like that Chile are struggling at the moment. Chances are limited for both teams in that first half, but let's see what will happen in the second half. Five shots in total in that, fir in that first half. Three shots for Argentina and only two shots for Chile. Let's see if Chile will pull the equalizer. Zabaleta goes forward on the right hand side. Silva is against him. Zabaleta crossed towards Higuain the header. It's off target. Let's have a look. No problems for Claudio Bravo. Trouble for him as well. This is going to be a goal kick. That will take it short towards Gary Medel. He's not. Keeps the ball inside. Finding Alexis. Down. Is this one? Looks like that uh, both strikers for Chile are not combining enough. Alexis Sanchez and Eduardo Vargas, it, it looks like that there's not enough chemistry between them. Perez, cross towards Messi, headed away. Bilia with the rebound, Higuain! That was not a bad attempt there, but Bravo shows safe hands at the end. Mena, going forward. Vargas. Now look at this. Vargas keeps the ball 
getting past the defender and uh, getting it for Mena now on the left hand side. Mena. Oh my! Oh my! That was a pass for. That pass was meant to be for Alexis, but it was deflected of uh, Edu Vargas. I think both of those players are not helping each other. Aranguiz is Vidal. Gary Medeo, Aranguiz. Ezekiel Vetsi is back on defense. Going to save the pass, but Mena steals it and then passes unsuccessful. Gary Medeo. Alexis. This is a chance for Chile. Vidal. A bit of technique there, but can get past Lucas Bilia. And now a chance for the counterattack. Higuain, Enzo Perez, throw for Messi, Silva with an important interception in that 70th minute of the match. Diaz, Vidal, is Vargas, pass towards Sanchez. Diaz lost possession, good challenge by Mascherano. And now Messi is going forward. Gonzalo Jara is chasing him, Messi on the right hand side. Messi, cross towards Higuain on the far post, headed away. Only as far as Ezekiel Lavezzi. Another cross, Messi, header, off target. Sanchez comes off, Jorge Valdivia is on also, Vargas is off. Inia comes on. Striking duo for Chile. Being substituted. I don't think it's uh, the best duo in terms of combinations. But now Valdivia tries the reflex of Sergio Romero. He responds well, making that save. Higuain towards Messi. The pass was cut out. Let's see how the team from Chile will look after both of their strikers were substituted Valdivia and Pinilla are now the attacking two Messi was Lavezzi low cross cleared away Rojo dispossessed by Valdivia chance for a counter attack Vidal Diaz Aranguiz there's not enough speed in that attack less than four minutes remaining until the end are Chile gonna get that equalizer or are they gonna suffer a defeat in front of their own fans? Not much time on the clock left. Mena. One minute for stoppages. Last chance for Chile. They don't have the time for those passes. Bolivia. The shot blocked. Demichelle is cleared it away. And it's it. That is it. Argentina are the Copa America champions after they've been in Chile with one goal to nil in front of their own fans. Of course, they won't be happy after this defeat, but they didn't manage to create anything in this game. Although they had more possession, as you can see right now. They had only four goal attempts compared to Argentina's seven, but only four of them were on target. But I have to say that moment of brilliance by Gonzalo Higuain was the key moment in this game and I think he has to be the man of the match Ezekiel Lovetsi is the man of the match with a 7 rating he scores the winner but anyway no time to waste now and let's head over straight to the celebrations
So Argentina are the champions of the 2015 Copa America after they've beaten Chile with one goal to nil after that superb strike from Ezekiel Lavezzi who was the man of the match on the final. He scored in the semi-final against, uh, against Paraguay as well and he scored the decider in that final game. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Hope you really enjoyed the, the final, the whole competition at all. And if you did so, smash that thumbs up button. It's gonna be really, really appreciated. And also if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe because we have some more videos coming up in the summer. Anyway guys, that is gonna be it for me. Once again, I really hope that you enjoyed the whole tournament, the whole competition. And I am gonna see you in the next video guys. Until then, take care.